We're here today at Country Times in Linz with Hi South. Hello, guys. Hi. How are you? Hi, we're great. How are you? I'm good, thank good. you. So I know this is by far not your first time in Austria. What is your connection to Austria? Ooh, that goes, it goes far, it goes way back. Uh, seven years, the very first uh, High South record. Uh, our, our manager now, who was our producer uh, on that first record, Christian Canol, is an uh, Innsbrucker, Tiroler. Okay. So uh, he's, he's definitely become a, a mentor and a really great friend, you know, as well as our manager. So uh, that's, that's, our, that's our original connection okay. to, uh, to the country. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so um, how long have you guys been playing together? How did you guys meet? Uh, that, that's also a, sort of a long-winded story. <laughs> but uh, Kevin and I have met uh, in 2011 as uh, we were thinking about putting together uh, the band High South. And uh, we had uh, reached out to our friend Phoenix to be a part of the, the group as well. Uh, but he had a solo career going at the time. And so we, uh, we, we were unable to work with him. But uh, if we jump uh, another five years later to about three years ago, we, uh, we called him and he was in a position in his life where he was able to uh, consider being a part of a band. And uh, so that's when we started, uh, three years ago, the three of us. And uh, it's, it's been, I feel like, elevated a hundred times uh, at bringing on our friend Phoenix. It's been a great experience. Awesome. Are you enjoying it so far? <laughs> I am having so much fun. I am. It is, <laughs> I like it. Uh, I'm having a blast. It's, it's the best fun I've ever had. And uh, we get along famously. We enjoy each other. And it's a three-part harmony. I mean, the, the, the word harmony says it all. It, it just works. And yeah, it's, so it's amazing. Fun. I love the sound. Um, so how did each of you get into music? Did you start at a very young age or? Very, yeah, very young age for me in particular. Uh, I know him in particular and him in particular. All three of us, they, they, we all have our own stories. I, mine, mine was, I was just obsessed with music. I wouldn't stop. I drove my parents crazy with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, James says it all the time and we're, we're lifers. We've been, uh, music has been in our, in each of our blood since uh, before we can even remember really. Uh, and at some point it became professional. I can't really tell you really when. It, <laughs> it, you know, it just happened one day, you know, kind of like that. Yeah. That's the dream, right? Yeah. In, uh, in America, I don't know what the story is here in, in uh, Austria, but in America it seems like a lot of people get their start uh, in church, singing in the church choir. And uh, so as a young person, my, my family was involved in uh, the church in my community, and I started singing in the church choir, and uh, that's where it started, at like five years old, singing, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So what were your musical influences, or what are your musical influences today? Oh, that's a very good question. I mean, it, the, the scope is uh, it's sort of a longer mm. list than we have time for, I think. <laughs> but as a group, in, in our sets, we play a lot of music that definitely influenced the sound of our previous record and, and the, the one that we're working on now. And a lot of those bands are bands from the uh, Southern California in the 70s, bands like the Eagles or Crosby, Stills, Nash, or even uh, the Flying Burrito Brothers, stuff like that, definitely, yeah. among others. <laughs> yes. So when you're writing new music, what, what inspires you? Where do you get your inspiration? Well, we've had a lot of inspiration in America these last couple of years. And, uh, you know, sort of the whole uh, mantra of our band, uh, if, if that is the word to use, has been uh, to spread love and peace through uh, our music. And, uh, you know, not our, our sole goal, but that has been very high on the list to be able to, to share with the world some love and some healing. And um, so when we sit down to write, a lot of times we're writing about things like that, things that we think are going to have some sort of capacity to heal people, to, to when they come to a show or when they put our CD in their car and they're driving down the road, when they get out of the car, they leave the venue, they're feeling a little bit more love in their heart than when they left the show with. And hopefully they'll spread that around and it will be a, a better world because of it. That's the goal. That's a great mantra. That's a good mantra. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's a long mantra. But it's good. It takes a long time to say it 20 times yes. in the morning, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're running late, Bob. Yeah, it takes it even longer. The the, yeah, the mission statement on the wall is even, it's, it's harder. It's, it's, it takes a lot, a lot of paint. Put your foot on the brake, pull the reins, slow it down. When you're gonna make some mistakes, that's okay when you're free to If you dig in, yeah, go on and 
had some um, success in the charts already. So when you're writing new music, do you ever feel the pressure to repeat that success? No. I mean, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I mean, we, we have had some, some chart success, uh, especially here in, in Österreich and uh, also a little in Germany and in the Netherlands. Um, but uh, I think we're on this adventure. It's sort of like we don't, we're not looking back to, too much. Um, we have a goal, a common goal in mind, a place where we want to get to instead of going backwards. So, uh, I mean, we would love to have uh, you know, some more hits, uh, and I think those are coming. We feel like we're writing the best songs we've ever written, uh, even better than the ones that did well. And uh, so we're just waiting for, the, for, uh, for the, an audience to hear them and uh, to catch some traction. So is the new album in the making already? It's deep in the making. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, we've, ri we've written, we've almost, I mean, we've, for all intents and purposes, we've written a new record and then some. Um, so we're just, uh, we're waiting to uh, sort of figure out how we're going to release that. Uh, maybe tie up some loose ends, and, uh, but it should be out uh, at the be beginning of 2019. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So what are the plans for the rest of the year then, Ex uh, except for writing or, or making the new album? A lot more uh, touring, 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 right. touring, playing, playing, playing. <laughs> yeah. It's a grind, but we love it. It's, we tour constantly. I mean, literally, we're on the road all the time. And it never gets tiring? We live in Nashville, but we've never seen our apartment. <laughs> Uh, it's always tiring, but uh, for that 90 minutes that you're on a stage, you're awake. See? He's already gone. <laughs> you, you get the sleep when you can get it, man, when you can get it. <laughs> and here it's more difficult because Derner closes and you have to get there and get, you have to get Derner. You have to get... <laughs> but you do most of your touring in, in Europe. Is that right? Uh, I, you know what? Until uh, about a year and a half ago, that was the case. Uh, we were doing a little bit of touring in the United States, um, but we were most of our focus was in Europe. But uh, we, we had to make a change with that. I mean, we're from the United States. There's no reason why we shouldn't be touring extensively there. And uh, so we, uh, we changed gears uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, we did uh, well over 100 dates last year in America alone. Wow. And we'll be uh, even more dates uh, this year and next year, uh, we're going to have to put a, a cap on that at some point because we're, we're, as I said, we are literally on the road nonstop. My wife's going to leave me. Can well. we talk? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't hope so. <laughs> no, she's not. No, so, she's not. Um, to wrap this up, what can people expect tonight? A little, a little bit of some peace, a little bit of love, and a whole lot of harmony. We didn't even rehearse, unrehearsed. That sound totally rehearsed. <laughs> that was the first time we've ever done it. Perfect. But those people keep on rolling and they hold on to the stand. They think on this crazy if that railroad train was fine. I bet I'd move it on a little further down the line. Far from those in prison. That's where I'm on to stay. So... Oh.